hello students we are solving a very important question on inverse trigonometry and that came in cbse exam 2015 if tan inverse of x the whole square plus cot inverse of x the whole square is equal to 5 pi, pi squared by 8 then find the value of x well we all know that is equal to pi by 2 and what is cot inverse of x one can easily turn that to tan inverse we are doing this because we want to convert the above expression which is given to us as quadratic. So we are given and for this cot inverse we will be writing pi by 2 minus tan inverse of x. Now we will open this to turn into quadratic. this and this will turn to now on further simplification we get Now initially we'll try to solve this by splitting the middle term but if it is not possible for you because there is the involvement of pi we can use the discriminant method which is and clearly a is 16 b is minus 8 pi and c is minus 3 pi square. So by putting these values, we get tan inverse of x is divided by 32. You can do smart work by taking 64 common with pi square and you will be left with so since we have two cases I'm writing 8 pi plus 16 pi divided by 32 and the other case will be 8 pi minus 16 pi by 32 with this we have tan inverse of x is equal to 3 pi by 4 and minus pi by 4 and x is equal to tan 3 pi by 4 which is 135 degrees or you can also write is tan 180 minus theta is minus tan theta so with this the result is minus 1 and in the other case when we put x as tan minus pi by 4 initially we put tan inverse of x is equal to 3 pi by 4 and now we are putting tan inverse of x is equal to minus pi by 4 with that x is equal to minus tan pi by 4 because in this case tan minus theta is minus tan theta therefore it is minus 1 again in both the cases the answer is coming minus 1 and now it's time to verify so we are putting
with x is equal to minus 1. I'm taking the original equation. And doing the verification with x is equal to minus 1. Taking the left hand side. Tan inverse of minus 1 is. Whereas cot inverse of minus 1 is. This is the right hand side. So we can say that because left hand side is equal to right hand side, therefore the only solution is x is equal to minus. Thank you very much.